Hi, this is Troy with Zoner Photo Studio. Today we're going to be looking at how to turn an image like this, where we have a white background, into a transparent image, where the logo will still be here, but all of the white areas will be transparent so that we can overlay it onto another image and not have the white obviously blocking it out. This is pretty simple to do within Zoner Photo Studio. So let's get right to it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to select our magic wand tool. So it's over here on the left, but you can also simply press the W key. So I press the magic wand and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select a white area. This is my selected area that I want to get rid of. Um, but you'll notice if I select another white area, each time I do that, my little dancing ants and my selection changes. So how do I select all of these white areas? Well, I'm going to go ahead and show you the easiest, which is selecting or deselecting continuous. So what that means is anything that's white is going to be selected. So I'll go ahead and click it. And as you quickly notice, everything that's white has been selected. This works in many cases. So, once I have all of my areas selected, I'm going to simply press the delete key, and as you can see, all of the white areas are gone, and the little checkerboard in the back, that denotes that the area is transparent. There's nothing there. So, with this, we have our little dancing ants. You press your, your escape key, and that will get rid of all of your dancing ants, and now, we are ready to save this in a format where the transparency is still going to be active. A JPEG will not work. This image was originally in a JPEG. So, next step, we'll come up top, press File, and we're going to... Normally you'd press Save As and select that, um, that different file type, which would be like a PNG or a GIF but I'm going to show you just how intuitive Zoner Photo Studio is. We're going to select Save and it will tell you, hey, if we save it like this, we're going to use our original format, we're going to lose quality. But we'll select a new format, press OK, and now it gives us the option of selecting one of the formats. GIF, as I said, and also a PNG. So I like PNG because you can select different um, levels of quality. I select the highest which is 48 bits and I select OK and now my transparency is kept. Um, Zoner Photo Studio is saving it and now I have this image saved with the transparency instead of the white background. So what can I do with this? Well let's come up top and we're gonna select our film strip and prior to removing the white we had our logo with the white in our typical square box and our planet earth. After removing the white we end up with something like this where you can actually see through all of those transparent areas. So um, as you can see this is a very very useful tool that you can use in many different ways. I will create a tutorial a little later that will show some other options but as of right now this will handle most of your transparent issues. Thanks again for trying Zoner Photo Studio.